Hey guys, tell you what, you could have the prettiest blades ever for Lake Erie, but if you don't know where to go troll them, it ain't gonna do you any good. So uh, yesterday I downloaded the PC app from Navionics on my Mac, um, and I merged I merged some satellite imagery with the contours from the Navionics charts, and now I can actually see exactly where those uh, water clarity changes are in relation to the contours of the lake, and it was really cool. So I thought I'd share a little quick tutorial how I did it. So if you already know, um, Go try it out. If not, stick with me for a couple minutes. First things first, guys, go to navionics.com and uh, pick up the PC app for either a PC or a Mac. Um, kind of a weird name for a Mac application, but once I found out it was available, I got it and started screwing around with it right away. And so this is the first thing I did. Um, for those of you at this point on that are familiar with Macs, um, are familiar with the iWork suite and how to take screenshots and that kind of stuff, um, you might as well go do something else. This is for people that uh, aren't, aren't quite there yet, and I will definitely show you step by step how I how I got those two images merged here. So um, find your find your region. I got uh, what was mine the North Premium here that has all my favorite walleye waters on it. Uh, in addition, you know, plus Lake Erie, and that's what we're going to be focusing on right now. So get this downloaded onto your computer and get it set up and launch it. Um, once it's launched, just find Lake Erie should be here and there's my western basin right here um, so these are the contours that I'm going to be using uh, to, to to get what I need when I merge those two pictures to get it you need to take a screenshot on a Mac to get a screenshot all you do is hold down the command key the shift key and the number four at the same time and you end up getting a set of crosshairs so you can select your region that you want to take a picture of on your screen let go and you and you instantly put a ping image on your desktop and we'll be using that in a second here so basically that, that's all I need from the Navionics chart at this time. So I'll close that. Um, now you need your satellite image. And to get your satellite image, go to this website here, the Modus Imagery, and select Lake Erie. And if it's a sunny day, you keep your fingers crossed that it's a sunny day the day before you go out because you can select a nice, clean, crisp uh, picture of the lake. And it should be here. There it is. All right. Now I can zoom in by pressing the command key and the plus key. Zooms in on the browser. Um, and I do the same thing. I want, to, I want a screenshot of that western basin. So I, I press command, shift, and four. Get my crosshairs, select my region, let go. And I just put another ping image on my desktop. So now I have the two images that I need to put on top of each other on, uh, on, on the pages application. It's part of the iWork suite. Um, it's just like, I guess it would be comparable to Word in a piece, on a PC. So you, you get that, and you drag both of your images onto your uh, onto the new new document here. And obviously the sizes don't match up, so all you need to do is grab a corner, drag it a little bit, and I don't know, that's going to be just pretty close, but all you need to do is to make sure you grab your inspector and bring your opacity down to about 80% or so, and you can match up your islands here with the islands on the Navionics chart so that you know you're right there. Okay, I'm not going to waste too much time, but that's that's about right, somewhere around there. Okay, now I can scrub the opacity bar down and back and forth, and so I can really just start examining myself where the the color changes in the water are in relation to the contours that I wanted to fish, or on the other hand, finding out what contours I should be looking for to find the color changes that I'm looking at on this in the satellite imagery. You know, it's it's part of your, it should be part of your daily strategy on Lake Erie, and uh, it it's it's very easy to do. So now I'm going to bring it down right to about here and take a look. So let's say I wanted to go fish gold or something like that. I can obviously see that some dirtier water has moved in on the north side of the reef. So maybe I'm going to start my day in the clean, cleaner water on the south side. It was that easy. You know, if you were just looking at a, a standard satellite image of the western basin, you might not exactly be able to determine exactly where that color line was. And, and, and granted, these, these lines are always shifting, but it definitely gives you a really good starting point to where you can start looking for those find changes in the water clarity on your way out to Lake Erie before you go fishing. So there's a quick tip for you guys. Merge these two images. Get yourself that Navionics PC application and go have some fun with this. I'll talk to you later. See ya.